Hello friends, welcome to our channel Stocks Factor. Hope you are doing well. Friends, day before yesterday, we posted a video in which we discussed the use case of two stocks on how to perform the analysis. In this video, we are going to discuss about Nifty and Bank Nifty and we'll see how to perform the analysis in case of index. Friends, before that, as you already know that we have extended our trial version until 15th of April. If you have still not got access to the dashboard, you can drop us an email. The email ID is mentioned in the about section. You can drop us an email on this particular email ID and we'll mail you the link of the dashboard. And friends, as we always say in our all videos, that we highly recommend you to watch the derivative analysis series playlist in which we have already discussed all the use cases with the theory points. We have covered each and every derivative indicator which we have shown in our dashboard which will really help you to understand the derivative analysis in a holistic way and how to see the dashboard and perform the analysis in order to find the high probability trades. So friends let's get started and let's switch to the dashboard now. So friends we are onto the dashboard now and to perform the analysis of index let's switch to the index analysis page now. So friends we are onto the index analysis page now and we have already selected nifty and the default time frame selected is 3 months and now let's perform the analysis for nifty. So friends as you already know that on the last trading day nifty closed with a magnificent rally at 14,867. Now let's analyze what the derivative data has to say. So we'll scroll down and we'll start with the futures data. So to see the medium term trend as you already know that we have shown the graph expiry on expiry and we saw a magnificent rally in nifty with a increase in the cumulative OI and then we saw a profit booking on the month of January and there was a fall in cumulative open interest also. So it means long unwinding was done. Then we again saw some long positions and then in the month of March expiry that is on 25th of March expiry and expiry we saw long unwinding it means profit booking was done. So this is a month on month trend that is every expiry that is at the day of expiry. Now let's analyze the week on week trend that is a little granular level. So in this you will see that uh, from the past few weeks we have been seeing long positions, long unwinding, long positions, long unwinding and now in the last week we saw again addition of long positions overall. So you already know that in the last week Nifty was trading in a range between 14,200 to 14,800 and within that range we saw and then Nifty closed way above that range. So we saw the addition of long positions in the last week. Now for the more granular data we can see the daily on daily chart. So you can see here the futures cumulative open interest and the price and if you see for the past few days especially the last week we saw addition of long positions with the price rise it means new long positions have been added in nifty and on the last day there was a short covering also. Now friends let's analyze the option chain data also. So starting with the PCR as you can see nifty PCR is now again above the one level. So earlier for the past few days it went below the one level and now it is above the one level it means it is in a bullish zone now and you also see a price rise with the increase in PCR level so it means uh, there is a slight increase in PCR that means more put writing has been done at higher levels so we'll see that also so comparatively to call writing more put writing has been done for the past few days and now let's see the option chain band so as you already know that we show here the two strike prices in which maximum put writing and maximum call writing is done and we show that chart based on cumulative open interest not only for the current weekly expiry but all the expiries combined. So this gives you a more clear picture that where the maximum support and maximum resistance is there for the nifty. So as you can see here that 14,000 has been acting as a very major support for the last few weeks. So now 14,000 is the base for nifty. So 14,000 will be very much respected unless 14,000 breaks the uptrend is intact in case of nifty. So we have seen that nifty whenever it comes near to 14,000 we see a bounce back in nifty and we have seen this a couple of times. So as you can see here maximum resistance is at 15,000. So this is the range immediate range for nifty 14,000 to 15,000 based on the options data cumulative open interest data of option chain. If the nifty breaks above 15,000 with a call unwinding at 15,000 then we can say that the nifty has broken that range and nifty will trade higher so either side the nifty has to break that range now friends let's see the option chain in detail so as we saw in the option band you can see here the maximum call writing and maximum put writing 
Now the first support exists as 14,500. So you can see a significant put writing at 14,500. So 14,500 will act as a first level support. And we have seen this also a couple of times that whenever the index last week came near 14,500, we saw a bounce back. So this is the first level support and the major support is 14,000 and the first resistance level and the major resistance also is 15,000. And on the last trading day, we also saw put writing at higher levels. So this is a positive sign for Nifty. We saw significant put writing at 14,800 and 14,900 levels. So this is a positive sign. Now let's analyze the past six days option chain data. So according to that, you can see that put writing was more initially from the March 23. So then you can see that uh, call writing slightly began more and then uh, there was a mix of call writing and put writing. And then again, we saw a significant put writing because the index started trading higher. And similarly, now we can see that the levels are as we discussed that the first level support is 14,500 and the major support is 14,000. Now friends, let's analyze the below table, which will give us more clear picture. So you can see on the last trading day, there was a short covering as we discussed in the above futures cumulative open interest chart also for the daily chart. And then we saw a significant put writing. So put writing was around, you can see 77 lakhs and the call writing was around 24 lakhs. So it means put writing has been very much more in the last trading day that is on 1st of April as compared to the call writing and there has been a price rise and a short covering has been done. So initially there might, might be some short positions which were added into the system. You can see uh, at three places the short position. So those short positions have been covered. So it means the people who were taking the bearish view now they have covered their short position. So this is a slight positive sign. Now we have to see the follow up also we should also see some new long positions getting added further already we have seen on 30th of march significant long positions were added with major put writing and very less call writing so it means that this day's low so if we click on this particular row so we'll be able to see this day's low you can go above and you will see that 14,617. So around 14,600 will act as a support because this particular buyer has bought at that particular price. So this is a very significant position. So it means this is a big player who has entered. So this player will defend that low. And also you already know that 14,500 is the first level support as compared to the option chain. So these two things coincide and correlate. So you can understand that 14, below 14,600, there will be a support level. So friends, 14,500 will act as a first support level and we'll see some buying coming at that particular level and we have already discussed that 14,000 is the major support level as of now. So friends, what the point is we are discussing in these videos, we are not kind of giving any recommendations, but we are telling how to use the dashboard in order to perform the analysis. And the same way you have to perform the analysis when you are accessing the dashboard. So these videos are in no way meant to give the recommendations. So friends, now we'll perform the analysis of Bank Nifty. So we'll scroll above to the top and we'll select from the drop down bank nifty so friends now the page is already filtered for bank nifty and we are still taking the default time frame as three months now let's perform the analysis of bank nifty so friends let's start with the futures data as you can see that for the past few months there has been slight short covering and then we saw a major short covering in the month of february and then suddenly we saw a huge short positions getting added so you see that in the month of march so the whole march we saw that the bank nifty fell down and a significant jump in the cumulative OI that is the futures cumulative open interest. So huge short positions have been added into the bank nifty and the same has been carry forwarded in the next month also. So this month we have to see that those short positions which were added in March, those have to be covered if the bank nifty has to rally. Now friends, let's analyze the week on week trend, which is a little granular level. So as you can see here, if we see for the past three weeks, so if we see that short positions getting added, then long unwinding and then slight short covering. So in the last week, we have seen a slight short covering in Bank Nifty. Now friends, let's analyze the more granular data that is on daily basis. So if we see on the last few days, the short covering happened, a slight rise in Bank Nifty with a huge short covering. So you see the fall in cumulative open interest, the yellow line and the increase in the blue line, that is the price. So we have seen for the past two days, a short covering happened in Bank Nifty. Now friends, let's analyze the PCR trend. So as you can see in the PCR trend, the PCR trend has risen for the past few days and we also seen a rise in Bank Nifty. So this is a slight positive sign for Bank Nifty that PCR is rising. So we have to see the trend, not the number in isolation. So PCR is rising and the price is also rising. So it means it is a bullish sign and the support level is shifting higher now. 
so we have to see that in data also in the option chain data also but from here we get a sense that the put writing is going on more as compared to the call writing now earlier we were seeing that more call writing was happening in case of bank nifty because bank nifty was underperforming the index now if you see the major support and resistance levels so as we discussed the support level has shifted slightly higher now it is 33500 and the major resistance is still at 34,000. So there is a very tight range acting for Bank Nifty and it has to break either side. Now let's see the option chain data. So if we see the last snapshot that is on the last trading date, the maximum call writing is at 34,000 which we also see in the option band and the first level support is 33,500 and then we have the second level support at 33,000. So 34,000 will be acting as a major resistance and after that the 35,000 has the maximum calls. Now if we see the last day what actually happened in the OI change so we saw that put positions were added at 33,500 and even at 33,800 levels. So at 33,800 also put writing was done as compared to the call writing. So it means people are writing puts at these levels also 33,500 or below so it means that will act as a first level support that is 33,500. Now friends let's analyze the past 6 days data of the option chain that how the open interest is changing on the different strike prices. So starting from 23 of March, you can see that put positions were more as compared to the call positions and we were seeing a significant put writing at the 34,000 levels. But suddenly the bank nifty turned bearish and we see more call writing at those levels and the 34,000 became the major resistance level. So since the past 4 days, 34,000 has been acting as the major resistance and still the maximum call writing is at 34,000. And we have discussed that 34,000 is the major resistance as of now and the first level support will come at 33,500 and 33,000. Now friends if we go to the bottom table you can see that short positions are added for the past few days. So before that long positions were getting added and then we saw long unwinding and then we saw short positions getting added into the system. So we also saw in the month of March. So you can see that here also that short positions were added in the month of March and then we saw a significant short covering on 26th of March that is on the very next day of expiry and on the last trading day also we saw a huge short covering with put writing more as compared to the call writing. So friends this is now turning out a slightly bullish for Bank Nifty because we have seen short covering in the past few days with put writing more as compared to the call writing. So as we discussed the levels 33,500 and 33,000 are the levels to be watched. So friends with this we conclude our analysis of Bank Nifty and we also conclude our video. If you have any questions regarding this video please post your questions on the comment section and we will definitely answer your questions. So these videos are meant for learning purposes. So how you can analyze our dashboard to analyze the data. And friends, if you have not subscribed to our channel till now, please subscribe to our channel to get the notifications of such videos. And if you want to get the access of the dashboard, you can drop us an email. Email ID is mentioned in the about section. You just drop us an email with a simple hi and we'll mail you the link of the dashboard. The trial version of dashboard is still accessible until 15th of April. So friends, see you in another video. Take care and goodbye.